Here we have an application of proportions. And our example, we have 10 gallons of water leak from a hose in 20 hours. So I'm going to circle 10 gallons of water and 20 hours. So 10 gallons in 20 hours. And that is a rate. At this rate, how much water will leak in 10 days? So this part is what we're looking for. And it says practice circling the givens and underlining the goals, which we have done. So our math work here, I've been given one, two, three pieces of information, and there's one piece of information that is missing. So let's see how we can set up a proportion to solve. I've got 10 gallons leaks in 20 hours. And my question is, how many gallons will leak in 10 days? Now, I have to be very careful with my proportion because my units are not the same. Here I have a gallons per hour rate. Here I have a gallons per day's rate. I need to be sure that my rates are in terms of the same units before I proceed to try and solve my proportion. So I'm going to rewrite this as 10 gallons over 20 hours equals x gallons and let's see how many hours. So 10 days, well one day is 24 hours. So 10 days would be 240 hours. So I'm going to rewrite that days in terms of hours now I have a proportion that I can solve because my units match. So I can do a cross product here and that's going to give me a result of 10 times 240 over 20 and that's going to equal x. I'm going to get 2,400 in the top divided by 20 and that equals 120 in the bottom and we know from our units that that's going to be 120 gallons and that's going to be 120 gallons in 240 hours or 10 days. So let's see how we would check this result. I've got 10, I'm just going to check the proportion directly. 10 over 20 equals 120 over 240. So I'm not including the units here in my check. So I'm just going to focus on the numbers. 10 times 240 is 2400. 20 times 120 is also 2400. So the result of 120 gallons checks and let's write that result as a complete sentence. We're going to say 120 gallons of water will leak in 10 days. So the important takeaway from this example is that your ratio of units must be the same before you can begin to compute the value of the unknown in your proportion.